Hey, this is O with CLO Ed TV. Today I want to talk about three things that I wish I knew when I first started learning how to 3D print. I've honestly enjoyed the hobby of 3D printing. 3D printing is a great addition to your engineering setup. It is an excellent tool that fits a lot of different genres and different hobbies that people may have. So I don't care what you're into, whether it's sports, crafting, um, toys and collectibles, a 3D printer is a great addition to your workspace or your makerspace. I must admit there is a learning curve when you're trying to learn how to 3D print. So I've got a list of three things that I wish I knew initially when I first started 3D printing. Okay, so the first one is all about bed adhesion. What that simply means is how well the plastic will stick to the bed of the 3D printer. Now, it's very important to get this down. This is like the foundation in order for you to get good 3D prints. So some of the things I wish I knew is how important it is to keep your prints level. If you don't keep your prints level by keeping the bed level, then you can get a uh, warped or misshapen 3D prints. The other caveat to bed adhesion is not all filaments are the same. So for example, I learned on what will be considered one of the harder uh, filaments to work with, which is ABS. And ABS has a tendency to shrink. And it wasn't for a couple of years after that I really started working with PLA and other types of filaments. So knowing your filament type will affect how well the filament sticks to the bed. One other recommendation I would have to say is always use your glue stick. So this, from what I've learned, has mitigated some user errors or some errors in the machine. So what um, glue stick will do, it will allow the uh, filament to stick to the bed even if your temperature or height settings are not always optimal. The second thing that I wish I knew more of when I first learned to 3D print was how important supports and angles of your prints are. If you can get your supports correct and your angles correct, you can print certain uh, designs that have an overhang. Sometimes with your 3D models, if you have your angles correct, you don't even need any supports. Depending on how you design your model will determine whether you need supports at all. Also, if you have designs that possibly have a flat bottom, you can put that face of the model down on the bed and then you won't need any supports that way either. So that is the second thing that I wish I knew more of when I first started 3D printing. Learning more about design angles and also using supports in your 3D prints. Fun fact, did you know that Chuck Hole was the inventor of the very first 3D printer. Yes, that's right. He invented the first SLA printer in 1984. You want more information about him? The link will be in the description below. Now let's get on to the last thing that I wish I knew when I first learned how to 3D print. Guys, I initially got into 3D printing to tinker around with and kind of maybe invent some things, but I didn't know how very versatile 3D printing was. There are so many filament types from rubbers to semi-flexes. You also have magnetic filaments and also filaments with wood particles in it. So you can print a vase or a bowl and actually sand it like real wood. So I was just amazed as I continued to learn this years on end that there is so much versatility in 3D printing. Not only in the design aspect, all the categories it can fit and also what materials you can actually 3D print from. And that doesn't even include all the resins and many other types of printing that you can do. So the third thing I wish I knew when I first started is I'm not limited. There's so much versatility in 3D printing. There are many products links in the description such as the t-shirt I'm wearing. Also, I have a new 2.0 ruler. So just go to CLO Learn Shop. You can pick up this merch or if you just like to generally support the channel, support links will be in the description below. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my list, and if you wanna see the 3D printers that I use on a daily basis, links will be in the description below. Also, if you would like to support the channel, there will also be support links in the description below, and if you would like to support the CLO Academy, you should see a link right on the screen right here. Just scan it, and any donation will be greatly appreciated. Guys, thank you for tuning in, 
If you're new here, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me get out of here. Thank <laughs> you.